The big story, Ilkay Gundogan. One of the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. In and around the box, his creativity is excellent. He's playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. It's Barcelona. They face Paris Saint-Germain, and it's coming up live here on EA TV. Hello, wherever you happen to be, welcome to Catalonia, welcome to Barcelona. My name is Derek Ray, and ready with his tactics board to provide all the analysis is Stuart Robson. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League, the group stage and match day one. My goodness, so much to look forward to. It's Barcelona against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. And here's the starting 11 for Barcelona. Marc-André Ter Stegen stands between the posts. Frenkie de Jong plays alongside Ilkay Gundogan in central midfield. And the starting role on attack today is handed to Robert Lewandowski. And a very good challenge. And here's how the lineup looks for PSG. Gianluigi Donnarumma is the keeper. Lucas Hernandez plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. The crowd encouraging him to take it on. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Considering the form book, Stuart, Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Yeah, he's a real handful, particularly when he's running with the ball. And, of course, his finishing has been so clinical. That's why he's their leading goal scorer. Dembele. Back to Mbappe. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Oriol Romeu. Lewandowski now. Lewandowski. Rafinha. Oriol Romeu. An encouraging move from Barca. Joao Felix. Technique displayed. It's a perfect challenge. Oh, fancy footwork. And still looking for space. And there the move ends for now. Rafinha can't miss surely and a goal now they have their opener and now they can celebrate well it's a very simple finish in the end but his movement was really good he just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan. So underway again here. One nil the score. Vitor Ferreira. Good tackle taken away. Lewandowski. Lewandowski. So a corner for Barca. What can they do with it? It's a short one, and angling it back.
Gundogan. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Kylian Mbappe. Mensch. Pereira return to Mbappe and he was in the right place to intercept and just one minute of time added on for stoppages Christensen and the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks we're at the end of 45 minutes in this game well, Frankie de Jong was busy, he was difficult to subdue in the first 45. How would you sum up what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Well, back underway with PSG looking to find an effective route back into the game. Dembele and defending as a unit Joao Cancelo Oriol Romeu Barcelona now in potentially a dangerous position well didn't go to plan in the end Mbappe A strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Joao Cancelo. Good example of pressing without the ball. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Araujo. Ronald Araujo. Jules Kunde on the ball. Oriol Romeu. Now we're into the final half hour. Gundogan. And Christensen. Barcelona have given it away. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? De Jong. It's when Joao Cancelo. Christensen. 20 minutes remaining. Lewandowski, strong but fair tackle. Manuel Ugarte. Mensch. Ugarte. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running, but timely defending when it mattered. Gundogan. Kunde, Ronald Araujo, it's with Gundogan, Lewandowski, here's Rafinha, and it's opening up, well there was impending danger but good defending, Mbappe, Minch. Time is against PSG, but they still have the ability to hit back. Couldn't grab hold of it. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? And time for the change now.
con el 8, Pedri. Dembele tasked with taking the corner. Well, a nearly moment, you've got to say. Pedri, given away by Barcelona. Looking for someone to play it to. Real chance. Oh, thwarted there. And what a piece of defending we've just witnessed. Full time then, and Paris Saint-Germain have work to do already. Where did it all go wrong for PSG? It's a poor start to their Champions League season. Yeah, they'll be disappointed. It's an uphill battle if you don't get anything from your opening game. It really comes down to how they bounce back now. Vital we see a better performance next time out. Well, a meaty role played by Frankie de Jong. Sensational performance from him on all levels. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your analysis. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.